welcome to this week's challenge of is it worth the money wah, wah. this is the daya um supreme pizza gluten-free i bought it this week it's soy dairy free um is it worth the money i think i paid like eight nine dollars for this and it is only ooh, 19 ounces so this is what it looks like when it is cooked there it is i have been munching already you can tell is it worth it let's find out okay i'm gonna take a bite of this and we'll see what i think No, it just doesn't feel like real pizza. I know, I've eaten a lot of pizza and it's not the same textures. The crust is kind of cardboard-like. It does have a good flavor from the peppers and the meat, the sauce, it's a good sauce, but the cheese just does not it doesn't feel like real cheese. It did melt. I don't know if you can see that um, previously, but um, this doesn't, to me, this is not worth the nine bucks that I spent for it. I guess it would if I were desperate for a pizza. And I do need something that's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. But um, as far as Spending that much much that much money for it on a regular basis, I wouldn't do it. It's probably better than um, not eating pizza. Um, I need to try to find some recipes to, to make some more. Um, you know, some more gluten free alternative type pizzas. Maybe that's what I need to do. I didn't think it was worth the money. I almost don't want to finish it. It just costs too much to throw away, but it's just not tasty enough to me. It's not Pizza Hut. Oh, I love Pizza Hut. But um, anyways, so there you go. Not worth it so much. I don't know. What do you think? Um, maybe you have, uh, you know, compared other brands of pizza and uh, just let me know what you think. If you think um, you have another brand to recommend that I try, um, I will look for it in the stores and see if we have it. And then I'll try it for y'all. Let me know what else you'd like to see in my videos. Have a good day.